What's up you guys, Zoe here for OneGlanceTrader.com and today marks a historic moment on the OGT YouTube channel because it's my first ever MT5 indicator release. Now loads of you have been asking when am I going to make my indicators available for MT5 and today is the day where we are releasing the OGT trend dashboard version 1.2 for MT5. And the reason why it's taken so long is because there's a number of content stuff that I'm working on on the channel currently, which I'm really excited to share with you guys in the coming weeks and months. But also, I don't use MT5, unfortunately. I currently still use MT4, and I know that 80-90% of my audience are also using MT4. But even though a small proportion of you guys are using MT5, I wanted to make sure that I'm still serving that audience. So the first indicator release, as I mentioned, is the OGT trend dashboard. Now, unfortunately, my broker, MyFX Markets, don't offer uh, an MT5 version. So I've had to go get a demo account on Pepperstone just to test the indicator out and making sure it works as well as the MT4 version before I released it to the OGT community. So all I ask in return is I really appreciate it. If you like this video, um, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hopefully this will be the start of a suite of MT5 version indicators as well. So please comment down below what your thoughts on the OGT trend dashboard MT5 version but also comment down below on the next indicator of my suite of indicators that I've got. Um, and again, I'll link to all of those in the in the description of which indicator you want my team to code next to make the MT5 version. So for those of you who are new to the OGT trend dashboard, um, there will be a link in the top right hand corner and in the description which walks through the kind of fundamentals of how it works and why I produced it and all the customization features. So in this video, I'm going to keep it very top line. Uh, just go through the kind of input settings, how it works and things like that. And just to show you that it has the same functionality uh, as version 1.2, uh, MT4 version. And also, I know that a lot of you have requested additional mod mo modifications for version 1.2, um, but I didn't want to you know, do that, then have to release an MT4 version, then an MT5 version. So what I've decided to do is just release it exactly the same as the MT4 version in changes going forward. I'll make sure that I update the MT4 and MT5 version for you guys. So the OGT trend dashboard is effectively uses three moving averages, which is which are completely customizable. And when they are in a um, trending direction, uh, whether that is um, an uptrend or a downtrend uh, across all time frames, um, it will then populate these cells to let you know uh, whether a currency pair is trending up, trending down, or if they're not aligned properly, uh, i.e. range bounding, they will be in gray. And what it does is it then gives you a very high level pictorial view so you can quickly scan the scan the charts um, to say, OK, if I'm looking at this now that the uh, GBP USD is in a downtrend across the one minute all the way up to the H1, um, H4 is is trending green, but the uh, higher time frames are kind of range bound at the moment. So this could be a potential opportunity to look for short uh, short entries based on whatever my trading signal is. And that's kind of how it works. And it kind of gives you a, a good view. And a lot of the strategies that I use, I normally have the OGT trend dashboard up there. So it gives me that pictorial view of the market. So if my analysis is telling me that I want to go short, are the high time frames or the current time frames aligning with that uh, to make to give me the confidence that my analysis and going short is correct? And if they if it does not align, does not mean I don't take the trade. It means I risk less. So that's one thing I want to get you guys um, understanding more about is if you're going against the longer term time frames, it doesn't mean you miss the trade. It basically means, and the way I like to trade, is that instead of risking your max 2% per trade, you risk half a percent because not just because you're not align, aligning with the higher time frame doesn't mean that you're 
um, time frame chart analysis is wrong. So, and if you are wrong, you're not risking 2%, you're only risking a half a percent. So I really hope you guys can kind of start using that model. I know a lot of you have reached out to me about this concept um, and are utilizing it in your trading. So one other thing as well is I've been learning how to use MT5. It is slightly different to MT4, so it's been a bit of a learning curve for me. Um, but effectively, it is pretty much a, 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 exactly the same. So if I open up the indicator settings uh, for version 1.2, um, it has got the uh, size of the dashboard. So again, you can make this small, medium or large, depending on how you want it to be. You can have it in any one of the four corners of the chart. And the symbols here are the default symbols that have been coded in. If you want to remove a symbol or add a symbol, you effectively just um, delete it um, and then do a comma. And then let's just say you want uh, GBP CAD. I'm not going to do that now because I've not uploaded all the historical data on, on, on everything there. So let's just say I wanted to remove that last one. You can see that it updates and has removed the, la the last pair from the list. Um, the next element is that you can select all your time frames. Um, so in MT4, uh, it normally gives you a drop down of true or false, but in MT5, you just double click it. So that was something that uh, <laughs> I learned. So let's just say you're only really interested in the higher time frame. So you're not really bothered about the one minute, the five minute, 15, 30, one hour. Um, you set that and what it does, it calculates then and takes off uh, all the other time frames. One thing to bear in mind is if you are keeping um, the trend dashboard on a lot of pairs and you have got the one minute and the lower time frames it does slow down your terminal because you've got to imagine it's recalculating every minute three um three moving averages across you know 10 20 charts or depending on 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 how many you've got so if you are using it on multiple charts my suggestion would be is that you only really you take down the pairs um, so you only have one or two pairs or the current pair that your the chart is looking at and take out the time frames that are really not not useful mainly the, the lower time frame charts so um, then we've got um, your three MAs and again by default the fastest 50 medium is 100 and the slowest 200 and you can select whether it's simple explanational smooth or linear weighted uh, one thing to bear in mind is when you put the EA on the chart, um, the MAs that I've got here, they don't come automatically on the chart. You have to add those yourself. So um, all this kind of does, it just tells you about the pair. So I've added these um, MAs manually just to do some testing to make sure that it's showing the right thing. So we are on the EURUSD one hour chart which I've taken off the one hour, but it was red. Um, and you can see that the F50 is first to price, then the medium 100, and then the then the slow 200 MA. So when they're in that order uh, below price, um, you can clearly see that we are inside a downtrend. And so is the four hour. Uh, the daily and weekly are in uh, bullish territory and the monthly is also down. So that's kind of how it works. You have to set up your own uh, your own MAs. And then, um, then you've got the template name. So what you can do in this section here, you've got the open chart, which default opens to the daily chart. And what you can do is, um, again, it's in the version 1.2, again, which is linked down below. Um, you, if you've got a template name, you can stick that in there. Then it will open the chart on the daily with the template of your own indicators and own background and however, however you want to do that. Uh, one of the features which I still think is one of the best features is the current only. So if you select that to true, it will then only show the current pair that you are looking at. And that's kind of how I use it. Uh, I did initially build it as a uh, something that you just have uh, one chart which has all the pairs on and you can quickly scan and then open a new chart for that particular pair you're interested in. But the feedback that I've got from the community is that they like to have the current pair um, on um, or, or the dashboard for the current pair only for the uh, for the pair they're looking at. So again, that option is available to you guys for you to use. Then we've got 
uh, all trending. What all trending means is that whatever time frames you've got selected, so in this case, I've got H4 to the weekly, um, it will only show the pairs um, which are either all green or all red um, for your particular uh, for your particular time frames that you've selected. So, if, for example, the Euro the Euro USD H4 to a monthly chart was all red, um, then um, uh, then you would see that. But if I select this to true, so you can see, um, you can see that it doesn't show anything, and that is because um, not the H4 to monthly uh, are not red are not all red or not all green. Um, so that's cool to have there and you can use that again with all pairs if you're selecting all pairs so therefore you can quickly see where the lower or higher time frames are up or down to shorten the analysis and go straight to that chart uh, you then can change the colors again fairly standard stuff inside there and then the other piece here is again fairly basic is allow notifications um, you can do sound push or email and you can do uh, sets for I'm only interested in up signals or bearish signals or, or both. So therefore, you don't have to spend time at the charts. You just leave the trend dashboard running on your computer or on your VPS. And then when those criteria are hit, it will then play out the uh, uh, play out the scenario. And again, you can have alerts. If I'm only interested in when the H1 becomes bullish, then I can set that uh, set that to it. And lastly is your ability to set the font size to however you like um if depending on how busy your charts are and what other stuff you've got on there so again um that's the basis of the indicator again it's exactly the same as the mt4 version absolutely free link is inside the description and i've got the playlist at the moment of the ogt trend dashboard which you can go into which goes into all the features in a lot more detail than i've just gone through today so again i really hope you like this video have a play with the indicator give me your feedback down below and let me know what the next indicator you would like to see program for mt5 and i shall see you guys in the next video